Well, good afternoon again. Dave Langsather for violinresearch.com. And what we're going to do today is talk about an instrument that all four strings don't have the same power. It'll be one side uh, will be more powerful than the other. So in this case, just play across the strings here and see if we can hear how this one is. So I think I would say that um, it's a little weak on the E string side, this is a little more powerful. So whichever side is weakest, the correction is to open up this long part of the uh, sound hole. So from the tip here to the tip there on both sides, you have to do it equally all the way along and just do it in small steps. And to be sure you're getting this uh, tune right, just blow across like, you know, boom, 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 and see if it's even. So it sounds like this is a little bit lower up here. So since we want this to go up, we're going to work on this upper surface. So some uh, sandpaper is kind of firm and um, probably 100 number 100, 150. And so I'm just going to shape it a little bit because I'm going to be working on the shape. You have to be very careful with these ears. They're fragile and you can break them off. So just very good. So this is the part that sounded low. And do the upper part, same thing. Curved. I'll blow across here and see it sounds more even. Okay, it sounds more even. And since that did increase the size, we'll see if that's helped. Okay, just a little bit more. That made quite a change. So I'll just add a little extra up here. And then a little extra over here. Because it's kind of going around the corner here. Probably want to try to keep the angle vertical here. So we. Uh, don't want that slamming. And here I've taken um, three pieces of sandpaper, glued them together just with a woodwork, you know, woodworking glue, and I'll use this for doing this. The long shape here. Check it. Sounds a little uh, sounds a little bit low up here again. Try it again. And it sounds pretty even. I'll check the time up here. Well, so we've got a little time left. So once you have uh, the balance that you want, um, we have a tap tone frequency. Uh, for the top plate, and you just find something, find where it is, and then uh, blow across the sound hole 
in here if it's higher or lower than the plate. We want this to be just slightly lower than the top plate on the, the base side and just slightly higher than the top plate on the treble side. And if you want, you can go to violinresearch.com, click in the middle oval, and then select uh, sound holes. And then uh, you'll see there's a little reference you can use on your iPhone to listen. Okay, so we're going to go. Oops. Slightly lower. And same thing. It's like a big harmonica. Blow here and uh, compare it. Okay, so right now this sounds a little low. So the rule is if the sound hole is too low, we're going to increase the size of the upper hole. If it's too high, we'll increase the size of the bottom of the hole. So in this case, we need to go up a little bit. So I'm going to use a sanding stick, just a wood dowel with some cut sandpaper glued on. And we want to do this artistically. I cleverly brought the right thing here. I'm not sure I did. Well, excuse me for a second. Okay, back again. Um, so we're going to use a Swiss Tell a jeweler's file. And one side's flat, and the other side's got a curve to it. So it's got a shape like that. And so that's what we need, because we want to increase this area a little bit here too so uh, we don't want it to be flat so this is you just have to be sure you don't put a sharp edge on it so you want to keep this artistic Okay, let's try it again and see if it's going to be a little bit higher. So if you compare the two, that's about what we want here. And again, like I said, on, with your iPhone and our website, you can have a reference and get it very accurately here. So that's the end of that, that uh, having that slight difference between the two will give it the right sort of uh, resonance.